It's your girl DJ Miss Eclectic Wiki Wiki and you're checking out the Mixtape Podcast. It's your girl DJ Miss Eclectic and you're tuned in to the Mixtape. Y'all, I have a very special guest this evening. She's phenomenal. She's fabulous. She's God fearing. She's Miss World Traveler, Miss Glamour Girl of Comedy herself, Miss Kimberly Vaughn. Hey, hey what's hey. going on? I'm well I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, ball headed dodging viruses and uh, stuck with a shit doing quarantine. Well, just... Oh, well, that's a that's a lot, that's a lot combined. Yeah, <laughs> Very, a lot combined. Yeah, that's what my therapist says every Thursday. <laughs> I'm so done. Well, you know, hey, I believe in Jesus and therapy, there's nothing wrong with having both. Lord, he got me on voicemail, I've called him so many times. <laughs> My guardian angel's like this Negro here. Yeah, he's like, listen, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> you have reached Jesus at the sound. Please leave it. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. That mailbox is full. Goodbye. He'll oh, be geez. like, Jesus. <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> oh, man. You look fabulous, though. You blinged out. Well, I absolutely you. love him. Yes. Thank you. Came you. On here ready. And you I, just I'm came scared. to Las Vegas. You- you doing the thing. I, I man, when I'm I'm with you, I gotta roll tight. I'm serious. Oh, man, you know, hey, I'm just chilling, you know, just trying to be yeah. all God has called me to be. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> man, so tell us, you just came from Las Vegas. I saw your pictures. You were with the major celebrities, you Roxanne Shante. And I was like, she with so how was the show? So you opened up and tell us about the weekend in Vegas. It, it was nothing but a blessing. Uh, God truly is amazing. Yeah. Um, I was able to do the urban experience. Uh, it's a once, uh, I think this is a third year actually. Okay. And it's an old school event. So the first night it was the old school comedy uh, special. I was there with Aaliyah Ford, uh, the mayor of Rap City, Chris Thomas, and yeah. uh, headlining Honest John. So... <gasps> That was amazing. The second night, um, the old school rap concert was going on, but I was invited to perform at the AHAs. And so the AHAs are the African American Honor Society. So yeah, you know, and and it was so surreal um, being there. Uh, Richard Pryor's daughter, Rain Pryor was there with his son. And they did a uh, award for them. A wow. uh, Paul Mooney. There was a, a posthumous reward. Reward. See, I can't talk. Re- <laughs> award. Award. Not a reward. The man is not a crime. He's gone on to glory. Award. <laughs> so yeah, in the process of that, I met a lot of people, and then I came back that night and was able to take in some of the old school. So it was amazing. Um, yeah, yes. Roxanne Shante, Dr. Roxanne Shante, I she has her. a doctorate uh, in psychology. Yes, and yes, so yes. Uh, she's hilarious. I thought I kind of had a niche. Oh my God. You don't kind of have a niche, you have a niche. She, she was hilarious. Um, I will give a praise report that Coolio's skin is that of a child's behind in Mississippi. It is the <laughs> smoothest. It's just as nice, just as humble. But when I tell you, I mean, not without a blemish and dimples, but he does still have the little three things, the little hello little sticking out from the, yeah. Cause like when you about 60, almost 70, it, it just, you know, just, yeah. so, but yes, I mean, those artists, very, very humble, uh, very, very appreciative of what we gave them over time as far as support and love. Uh, their final night, I did open uh, for Angie Stone. And so uh, I saw Force MDs. I was like, you're not going to be no groupie. In the name of Jesus, contain yourself. But yeah, because you know, when I was a kid, you you cut them out on the Right On magazine and you got some tape and put them on your wall. And I was just like, oh my God. I think my prom was like, tears falling in love again. I was like, oh my God, there they are. So another heart knows my pain. Yeah. So let me. Yeah. Don't so it was. Back, uh, it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. 
man. It's not like you had a good time. I have to ask. So as a, you know, a comedian and you're in the, uh, I said a woman of faith, how do you, how do you prepare to go in an area like that? Or, cause you know, everybody's secular, not saying that people are secular don't know the Lord, but I'm saying you're just taking a different energy with you. What is the preparation process like for that? Girl, it was 900 church buses with a bunch of seniors smoking at the liquors at the quarters like, all weekend. Like, lady, did you even go use the bathroom? She said, nah, it's about to hit. <laughs> it's about to hit. I was like, do you need a sandwich? Are you dehydrated? They all, I was covered by saints. Everybody was in there from the church. Had the little scooters. <laughs> Excuse me. Just, I'm like, okay. Hey, Harriet, you still here? God is good. So going into where, <laughs> I feel quite covered. <laughs> I'm covered, Lord. <laughs> In the desert. At least it wasn't, you know, that desert. It was this desert. <laughs> oh, Lord. So you were good. You were covered. The Saints was the Saints were there. It was kind of like when they held the Stella Awards at the Vegas. In Vegas. I was like, man, they got the Saints over here with the slide machines, with their church suit on. Yeah. And weird. everybody's speaking in tongues. So, I mean, it's just different, you know. Just, oh, my God, I almost had that. Let me put some more money. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm behave, behave. But, you know, God gave me a gift. And yeah. my gift is not territorial. I initially thought that mm. and I thought, oh, it's got to just be churches and events and fish fries. And God said, your gifts will make room for you. Yes. And if he created the world, then I should be as his daughter to be able to travel the world and carry him with me mm. as opposed to me staying with those parameters. So like have joke like will travel. Uh, and if you can't see or I can't get a moment to share with you who he is and what he's done for me and what he'll do for you, then I hope all of this leaves that that's, you know, absolutely. this is absolutely. not for me. Yeah, This is just him through me. That's that. You just spoke a word on here. See, you just spoke yeah. a word already. Him through me. I love it. I love it. So has it always been comedy for you? Have you no. always known? Like, you're hilarious. Like, the first time I talked to you, I was like, she is hilarious. Because I'm not like a big comedy person. I was like, yo, you are hilarious. Like, you are funny. So have you always known, like, were you one of those kids as the, the meme is going on right now? You know, the one of those kids who talk too much in class. And like, what are you doing? Oh, now? Lord, you yes. I was the only child. And I wanted to be on the Mickey Mouse Club. Yeah. So, um, you know, we would get refrigerated. The Kenmore box would be in the living room for like at least two weeks because they were on TV. <laughs> so I'm in it, doing the news and, you know, and talking to myself. Now, the only kid, the gerbils went to bed at seven o'clock um, and just kept going. Uh, went to a couple of children theater camps. Uh, I started doing commercials and voiceovers at eight. Oh, so uh, just moving forward, just moving forward. It was a dream that I didn't want to let go of. Yeah, um, I did talk too much. And uh, the teacher would tell me, OK, Kim, put your desk right here next to my great Miss Jameson. What did you do this? And they didn't do anything. They didn't even do their homework. What did you do this weekend? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> And so the jokes came as a defense mechanism. I told you my eye was a lazy eye and went all around the world. So of course kids are gonna make fun of you. Oh and, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I understand cyberbullying. I do, but when those Negroes are at your table, beatboxing and talk about your eye and touching your lunch food, you want that cookie? No, biscuits. I don't have the cookie. Okay. I it's all food. yours. <laughs> So it was quick wit with that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you worked it out. And then look at God opening doors for you now. I love it. I love making people laugh. And yeah, you do it. And it's so natural for you as well. Like, who are some of your who are some of your inspirations? Ooh. Um, Wanda Syke. Oh, um, so hilarious. Robert, Robin Woods. Uh, not Robin Woods. Robin Oh, not Robin Harris. Oh my God. Robert, Robin, what's his name? 
Is it not William? What's his last name? Robin Williams. It is yes. Williams. Okay, okay. It is yes. Williams. Yeah. Oh my God. How am I say, see, that ain't right. That ain't right. I'm making stuff up over here. She don't even know who she's inspired by. Turn the channel. channel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, Sinbad was like one of the greatest. Um, yes. What he said, where he said, it didn't matter. Uh, Robin Williams allowed me to just be me. I didn't have to worry about containing it and yeah. authentically um, just who I am. Steve Harvey, I, I have a lot of respect for him. Mm -hmm. um, even at the greatest, the kings of comedy, you know, everyone was kind of to the left and to the right. And, and don't get me wrong. I love all of those guys. But Steve talked about Sister Odell. Steve talked about the temptations, you know, yeah. so it gave me the opportunity to really see how I could move forward with this, you know? So, yeah. and he always gives a word. You know, he does, he does, he does. And it's, um, and it's always, it always takes us back. I can relate to, I'm a church kid, so I can always relate to, you talk about church, you talk about old school, you talk about good music. I can always relate to that. And what I love about your comedy and a lot of other comedy right now is like clean comedy. So even if oh, any, yeah. but, but anybody, it can touch anybody. Anybody can go, somebody who is maybe not of God per se, they would still enjoy your show because it's still funny. It's still hilarious, but yeah. it's clean comedy, but it also has a message at the same time. And I, I love that because sometimes you'd be like, Oh, this comedy show is going all the way left, Lord. <laughs> I mean, in a in a blessed way, we all know what we go to bed with. What yeah, absolutely. We, which bathroom we go to. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, personally speaking, I'm mad at my uterus. We don't even get along. So I, I don't really even want to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it was way more, you know, I was a, pastor's kid a step okay, kid anyway uh, okay uh and they kept me in church so much i wondered if i had a bedroom i thought the pew was my bed it just can, can we go home i think i got clothes in the closet not robes i don't want no more robes it's heavy it's 35 pounds <laughs> just one thing for jesus <laughs> but yeah so i just had to keep who i am and and early on don't get me wrong oh i tried it just wouldn't come out of my mouth yeah, they, and people okay. be like, "Is she having a seizure?" I'd be like, "Girl, and you know my." They'd be like, like "What's wrong she with that baby?" CPR, she breathing. I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. I'm like, "No, it just ain't coming out, y'all." <laughs> I tried. I tried. The yeah. Lord blocked it. <laughs> That's like so. When what I, I can pinned. say in Vegas, I can say at church. I can say, you know. Yeah. And I love it. I think that's a rarity. I'm starting to see more of it, but I think it's such a, it's a door wide open for it because people are looking for it. Like if people love this good, people love to laugh, especially in a time like this. During the pandemic, yeah. you got Delta variant, you got variant times are uncertain. So we need to laugh as a people. So, I mean, I appreciate the laughter. I do. Because, you know, life is dark sometimes. <laughs> you know, um, DJ, it really... It took me initially, um, the turn of the closing of the city or the nation, I lost 31 shows. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, okay. And like I said, I quarantined with a shit to. I'll never do that again. Uh, that was like a child. We were going on a trip and we never, are we there yet? No, no sit down. Not. I don't we're know. Not. What. We're not. But I kept saying, God, speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. How do I deliver funny hmm. when people are losing businesses and yeah. houses and loved ones and and everything that they work for you know and I I just it really got rough for a lot of us as comics um doing zoom I'm like lord I'm running around here in you know three day old pajama shorts on but I got a beautiful <laughs> dress shirt on and my dog I'm kicking him out the way because he's sitting there chewing on the wire so you know it God made a way um yeah but even coming out how do I do this what do I say uh because it's his message and mm -hmm. it just comes out a goofy person yeah, so <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that touches many people though I'm pretty sure it touches me to hear the things and the messages that I get. Yeah. Um, some days I'm like, okay, Lord, I don't have a book and 
I'm not supposed to do this. I'll sell Avon Thursday, you know, and something will happen. And it just confirms a lot of times we get nervous in our gifts. Ooh, and speak uh, on you speaking something. Sometimes we don't see the the we know the purpose, but we don't see the the finances. We don't see what's gonna keep the roof over our heads or the food in our stomachs, but we know that the gift is what he gave. And yeah. so that comes with a covering. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really had a rough time figuring that out but I have had people and I, I I really I cry I never never take advantage of who's in that audience I don't have fans number one I have fam f-a-m I don't have f-a-n I'm not worthy of anyone following me hmm. shoot my kids didn't even do that they get in the grocery store and scatter so I sure ain't gonna last nobody in the audience to follow me. I couldn't hold on to my kids. Like, right, right, right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, I've had a gentleman. I think the biggest story uh, I'll quickly share. I used to put pieces up every now and then, and uh, I have a piece where I talk about my daughter and I how I you know just want to I want to sell her. I, I do. I've got to make in good on one of the kids. And uh, this gentleman wrote me, he said, uh, you don't know me. And I mean, you're laughing, but I'm for real. We can like take her information and out, you know. Um, but he said, you don't know me, but I follow you. And today I am homeless. I have come into the library to let my family know I'm okay. I am high on crack and really don't want to live. Today is the death of my only child, and she was my daughter. I want to tell you in the process of getting on the computer, your real, your feet rolled past, and it was about your daughter. And he said, I watched it. I rolled it back again. I watched it, and I began to laugh. And he said, I haven't laughed in so long and I want you to know that today, God blessed you and that you blessed me. And I'm reading this, and this was in October, and I'm talking, I lost it. In December, he writes again. He says, hey, just a quick update. The last, the next week, the following week, I went into rehab. I've been clean and sober since then. I want to say thank you. January 1st, I'm being my first trial sermon. I'm being ordained as a minister. And I want to say it's because, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Wow. That's him. Wow. And I get a lot of inboxes and messages. And I, even after the shows, people that have said things to me, nobody knows that I stand and yes, it's fun and it's great, but in the back of all this stands a little broken girl who had a dream and what God has made and allowed me the crazy glue to, to come back together with. It's amazing to have people love you and appreciate what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that so the doors crazy. of the church is open. Won't you come? Come on <laughs> in the room. There you go. Jesus is my doctor. Come on with it. Now, what you Why did the mothers said? of the church why did the mothers of the church say through their nose? You know that they could. I'm going to tell you, my God is good. Did she have adenoids? Probably? Like, now that I'm an adult, like, maybe they needed some medical attention. Oh, and I'm like, that could probably get gastric indigestion. I'm done. I really, I mean, I'm just. <laughs> I'm so done. And they had Playtex girdles on and you would hug them and get the back of the wall. Like you would hit, come here, baby, boom. And I was like, this is WWE. I just, Sister Matthews wanted to hug you. Like, what is this you have on? <laughs> so, and, and when I grow up, if I go have to wear it, I don't want to bounce people off of me. <laughs> I don't even think people wear Playtex anymore. That's assault weapons. I must say, I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> and then we wonder why the ushers look like her. And they couldn't move. That's why they came in slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm talking about the saints. That's Jesus. why they were so mean when they 
That's why they point you over there to the left and to the right. Listen. Yeah. I got people hey. cut by one of them little families that was on the funeral homes, but I'm like, how you cut me with a fan? Try to whack. And I'm like, well, dang, that wasn't in the name of Jesus. You just paper cut at me with the little girl with the lace gloves on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who gets put in their they father's study for, for uh, punishment? That's it. Go to your father's study. So I'm in there swerving around in his aisle, like, okay, Jesus is me and you. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Bad. I, I created that. <laughs> That's Have you me. learned that? No, I like no. it. <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> Sister Tabitha, can I please have the communion early? I'm hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So what's next for Kimberly Vaughn? What's next for you, Miss Glamour Girl of Comedy? Um, you know, unfortunately, in prayers, uh, I have had some bookings. Uh, Louisiana, bless their hearts, has come off the, the yeah. radar there. Um, yeah. November, no, October 28th and 29th, with a bunch of Benadryl and Lysol, uh, I'm going to be at Cozy's Comedy Club in uh virginia beach and it's not for them my family is coming with me okay. and so uh, yeah you just gotta you know swash them down they you know and and give them benadryl so they shut your mouth let's you see a lot of that <laughs> i'll be there the 28th and the 29th of october and uh november the 20th i'm going to be in dallas uh with jasmine gent who is uh okay. she was number one on the billboard chart for inspirational jazz she's a little big girl but that saxophone i'm just like okay i I don't know where she gets the wind but yeah i'll be there d time be in my home state to be in texas yeah and i i'll be anywhere you guys bring me (laughs) hello hello in there like hello yeah and see Y'all got to book me now because y'all need to see what the new eye looks like. Jesus! Oh, she birdie. So now you got to see the before and after. She said the new eye. Yeah. Honey, she's something else. <laughs> she a Jennifer Hudson. Ain't you? Did you, did you, you call the eye? Me? Did you call the eye? Part of she? the same face. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Man, Kimberly, tell everybody how to follow you. Um, where will we yeah, where so where can we find out where your next book it is that you just told us how do we follow you on all social media websites how do we support your comedy all the above uh keep me in prayers that's the biggest support okay um, all right we can do that kimberly vine uh under i mean underscore official page that's instagram so kimberly vine one word underscore official page like somebody else wants to be me but they they like okay you gotta do that um Instagram, Twitter, um, Facebook, it is Comedian Kimberly Vine. Uh, if you want to join a personal page, it's Kimberly Vine, uh, Comedian 2. Uh, for the grace of God, it's nothing but him, but I have collectively 15,000 followers on Facebook. Okay. And okay. so I don't want you just following me, so I keep opening pages. So it's not the Russians, it's really me. I just, you know, people like, uh uh-uh, girl, she, uh uh-uh, look, she has, it's open again. It's me. It's not Dimitri. It's me. Because if you believe enough and want to follow me, then I should be humble enough to follow you. Oh, that's, so. I love that. I love that aspect of it. I love that. Yes, because you say you don't have fans, you have fam. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, what's up, family? You know, that's. That's it. We all are family related. I swear. We swab a cheek and put in a ziplock. Yeah, I we swear are, we go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we are all family. Like for real. Yeah. You're right. I want to get my I, I want to get my ancestry. I'm just nervous to know what it's gonna come back with. No, I did mine. Oh, you did. Was it what you thought it was going to be? No. Uh okay. Okay. according to it, I am just passing for black. <laughs> I don't receive that in my spirit. <laughs> it's, it's all right. You, you know, it's all right. I'm just hoping but to no, be. My dad is Native baby. American, and uh, oh, well, see, yeah, yeah. So, uh, shout out to the Cherokee uh, indigenous, and then my mother is uh, Black and Irish. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So uh, that just means that I should never drink. I will give you everything I own. I will fight you for it. And uh, yeah. So you, we, we I, just, you, yeah, you give it everything yeah. you own and you're going to fight back for it. I'll fight. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's all three. Good. You know, I'm going to drink you under the table. I'll <laughs> give you everything I own and then fight you for it. I'm so done. So I'm we so just, done. Yeah, we just sparkling cider over here. It's just <laughs> oh man, I appreciate you stopping by the mix. Hey man, we've enjoyed you. Um, you're hilarious, as I'll say. Always. You um, I want to just say continue doing the great and the works that you're doing. Uh, it's not easy in any industry mm-hmm. to be a female, let alone one who knows who her creator is and whose footsteps are ordered. Uh, I think you do an amazing job and to God be the glory, you continue to elevate. You know, they always say the sky is the limit. No, it's not. God created the stars and the moon. So go beyond, you know, no fear of heights. I like that. You better see. Plus you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you cute. If you was ugly, I'd be like, bless her little ugly heart. Girl, you go on. Looking all like her turntable, just flat and round, Jesus. Oh, so Lord you know, I, you know, I could just, you know, it's just supposed to say it how it is. So I just thank you, Jesus. I don't have to lie. You know? I get thirteen lies a day. A thirteen. That's it. That's the that's so the I, cap Jesus gave you. What's yeah, thirteen. I'll be like, oh, that's a beautiful baby. Well, that's minus two. Keep going, Kim. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh gosh, what a beautiful dress. That's minus three. Kim, you're rolling. It's like Jenny Craig points. So I didn't have to lie. I got two more points for the end of this night. This 929. So I can cut up a little more for a minute. Oh, bless us, Lord. Bless us. Wiki Wiki, the mixtape podcast with your girl DJ Miss Eclectic.